Okay, champions, today we're talking about Bitcoin and about two weeks ago, I made this prediction that price will go to 65k. Okay, and price did exactly that. So my next tweet uh, about three days ago was that price will go to the all-time highs by the end of the year. So the price target was around 75k. Okay, so uh, for today, what, what, what is, we have right now is that there is a lot of volatility in the market. So the main reason why, okay, and I'll point this out is that we have a speech by a very important person. His name is uh, John Powell. Uh, he's the Fair, Fair Reserve Chairman. Okay, so uh, so as we are waiting for him to finish his speech, I don't think he has, has started yet. But yeah, as we are waiting for him to complete, um, a few other guys from the Fair Reserve has come out to make a few comments. Okay, and, and I think these people are the main reason why uh, uh, we are seeing a drop in Bitcoin right now. Okay, so um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe right now. And you know, we have a lot of really good uh, Bitcoin and altcoin price targets. Okay, so let's look at what's happening now. So there's one guy called Go uh, Gooseby. Yeah, so he's from the Fair Reserve, and he's he's making a lot of very um, you know dovish comments regarding uh, Fair, Fair Reserve policy. Okay, so he's saying things like you know. Um, the Fed is cutting rates, you know, because the economy is normalized. He's saying things like, um, he's going to watch the job data closely, things like that, right? So, um, he's, he's signaling to us that, uh, you know, he's willing to cut more than expected. Okay, and I think that's what's causing a little bit of panic in the markets right now because people are fearing that, you know, why is he making these comments, All right? Um, you know, people are thinking that maybe the, the economy is worse than expected. So that's exactly what's happening right now. You know, there's a lot of panic, um, you know, in the markets. But uh, eventually, all of this panic will be solved by what Jerome Powell says in his speech later. As we wait, what uh, Jerome Powell says later. Okay, uh, let's look at the chart of Bitcoin. So currently, we have this pitchfork that I've drawn here. Okay, and it's giving quite a lot of bullish signals. So the first signal that we have here is that. Uh, price when it, when it came down from the pivot C of this pitchfork. Okay, so let me just draw the pivot. So this is A pivot and this is the B pivot. Okay, and this is a C pivot. So as price came down from the C pivot um, towards the median line, so this is the median line. Okay, uh, price did not touch the median line. Okay, and not only did not touch, um, it also managed to reject off the modified shift median line. Okay, so this orange color line here is the modified shift, and you can actually find that in trading view right here. Okay, you can't see it. Um, it's right below this shift pitchfork. It's called the modified shift pitchfork. Okay, so you can just draw it right here and you, um, on this ABC pivot, and you can find that price actually rejected of the modified shift quite precisely. Okay, and this shows that the price really wants to follow the rules of the modified shift. Okay, um, so it seems like right now it just bounced off the modified shift and is making its way towards the warning lines okay so the dotted lines here are the warning lines so you know um as it's trying to make its path we're not exactly sure how it will make uh, this path maybe it might retrace a bit more okay before it goes up to the, the next warning line um we're not exactly sure but um this is a very bullish structure anyways okay so you know, from here, we can't really predict that price will crash all the way down to the all-time lows. I don't think that is what's going to happen, okay? Um, so this is not really something that we should be panicking about, okay? Because we have a, a quite a decently bullish signal right, right now. Um, so I'm, I'm not expecting any all-time lows, okay? And another thing is it's quite interesting is that, you know, if you were to look at the chart of the uh, S&P 500, okay? So this is the S&P. And... You notice that there's a very similar structure as Bitcoin, okay? So, you know, this is the, this is the normal pitchfork which I've drawn on, on the S&P and that was about two, uh, about two years ago, okay? Uh, in 2022, that was when the, the bottom of the bear market was formed in the S&P, okay? And you notice that if I had to draw a pitchfork here and, uh, and the modified shift, okay, notice that the price also rejected the modified shift similar to Bitcoin right now, okay? So you can see that this is a kind of uh, this is a kind of rejection that I, I like to see. Okay, so that's the same thing that we saw in the S and P. And notice that price, you know, eventually went up to a very high, uh, basically all time highs. Okay, so um, this is a very bullish signal. Right? This is called a uh, this is called a failure of the me the normal median. Okay, 
that also rejected off the modified shift quite precisely. Yeah, this means that the price is going to uh, move towards the warning lines. Okay, the dotted lines here are the warning lines. And notice that the SP okay eventually went to this uh you know the second dotted line here, the second warning line, and it created a channel here. Okay. So this is something that might happen to Bitcoin in the future. So you know it's, it might do something like this, go up, go sideways a little bit before going up again. Okay, similar to SP. Okay, so it went sideways here and it went up again. So um, this is something that I'm expecting in Bitcoin, okay. But for now, you know, as price uh, of Bitcoin tries to move towards the all-time highs, it might do a lot of, uh, you know, crazy stunts, right? It might do something like this, you know, and goes up again, right? So this is not something that we can really predict. Uh, this is extremely short, uh, short-term price movements. It's uh, very difficult to predict, okay. So um, normally, what what I try to stick with is the middle, the middle term uh predictions which are the, have the highest uh, win rate right so currently yeah you know i'm expecting bitcoin to move something similar to the smp um, but we just have to wait okay so right now um yeah not much except for we just have to wait for what john powell uh, says at, at the end yeah we still haven't got any news yet okay so uh, i'll make another video um about tomorrow uh, regarding this and yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned a lot. And um, stay tuned for my next video, okay? Yeah, see you next time. Thank you.